Right, the last video of this particular walk on the 10th of January 2020. I've done quite a few videos actually, a lot more than I thought. But not as many as I usually do, so put it that way. I've had to... I manage the streams. Uh, in the end I tiptoed across one. There were stones just underneath. Um, and it actually gave my boots a good clean, having a bit of fresh water splashing on them. So I've had quite a nice big walk. I've been, um, I completed the first stages of the walk much quicker than I ever thought I would. Um, so when it was only two o'clock I thought, oh I ain't going back to the van yet. So I did some bit more zigzagging up the top there, along Lady's Edge and towards the memorial trees, but I didn't get as far as that. I then did a few sort of shortcuts. Managed to visit, see some lovely ponies. And then I went down this coombe, that you, which I need to find out the name of. And there was a family of deer there waiting to greet me. Um, at that particular time, the sun was very bright and, and, and it blinded me. So I couldn't focus my camera, but I seen them running. But I missed all that. But then they hung around. They said, it's all right, Sheila. We'll just sort of stand around here and you can take pictures of us and do a video. So they did. They sort of were jumping around everywhere and then they just settled and they waited until I completely gone. They kept, watch, kept watching me. They were very similar to another group. Whether it was the same ones, I don't know. But it was really great to see them, you know. And they looked so healthy. The difference between this year and last year is amazing. They look well fed. They didn't look tickified. Um, they looked happy. They were bright, alert. Even the small deer looked really well. I was so pleased to see them like that. And considering they have to put up with the, the hunt going on. Chasing everyone, upsetting them. They know, they might get to know me because I've been passing them quite a few times over the last three or four years now, talking to them when I go by. I had one year where I didn't hardly see any and I was really concerned. I would only ever see them from a huge distance. But the musical stream is following me as I go back towards Holford Green now. I have many memories here. As I've told you on all my other videos, but if I have a break from here, and say I decide to only come here once a year, imagine that, or maybe miss a year, I know I'd feel very, very emotional when I did revisit. I know I would, because I did. I've had such great times exploring. I still don't really want to stop. It's just that circumstances could take Alberta away from me. And I can't visit here without a car. Um, I can, but it means that it means a train, a bus to get here and then you don't get very long and then you have to get the bus and the train and it all takes time. You know, it's like if you get the bus you've got to go around the different villages. Um, then you've got to, you get dropped on the, by the bus you then got to walk through Bridgewater to get your train and sometimes you, you have to wait hours. Sometimes it don't come. You have to wait hours and hours. This is without a vehicle and I've done it all. And of course I've cycled. But when I used to cycle, I couldn't be left out here this late. I'd have to still, once again, get back on the road before dark. You know. Now it was a... Uh, I had that sort of energy. I've got used to a vehicle over the... This is the seventh year with Alberta. Going into the seventh year with her. And um, it's been lovely having her. I don't use her that much. Not really. Not like you do if you've got a car and you go everywhere in it. You know, you go shopping in it. You nip up the road in it. I don't do none of that with Alberta. She gets her oil changed and her, her heating stuff. You know. Oh, what's that I can see? Is that a dog? Let me just... 
Zoom in a minute. Oh no. Guy tells you, I've played tricks on your eyes when you're walking along. I've seen oh, that look like a dog. I seen something that looked like a cat earlier. And I have seen deer here. I have seen deer here. I've been very cosy today in my new in my clothing. I'll just let you have a look. I've got my waterproof trousers on. These are my winter boots. I didn't wear them at all for two years. So they've kept some um, pretty good, you know, they're in pretty good condition. And they're, these are the ones that you put polish on. Uh, basically, I've, um, if, I tr if I try and keep out the mud now, they'll be not too bad when I get home. Just notice somebody coming now. I always video this bit though. Don't know who they are. Oh, they're quite a way back. But they're walking very, very fast. I'll let them pass in a minute. I don't want to rush. I haven't been breathless at all. All the trees. I'll come to the gate in a minute and then there's the roundhouse.
the roundhouse.